Hello student, welcome to this lesson on functional writing. We will look at how to fill a form. Filling forms is one of the life skills you will need throughout your life. Can you think about some forms that you might have to fill as a student? Library membership forms, gym membership forms, medical forms, club membership forms. Yes, indeed. Even as a student, you will be asked to fill forms. Can you guess the purpose of filling a form? A club or library will get basic information about us. Yes, the purpose of filling in forms is to provide information to institutions. The information is registered in a clear, orderly and easy to read format. Now, what are the kinds of information usually required to fill in these forms? Name address, date of birth, telephone number, and oh yes, whether we are male or female. Very good. Firstly, most forms would require you to give your name. Here, please note that you are expected to give your name as it is written on your birth certificate. You would not usually use your nickname here. You will also be asked about your address, so that letters might be sent to you. You will also be required to give your date of birth. Now, can you tell me why you need to give this information? So that they know our age. And why would they need to know your age? Let's suppose we are filling a library membership. When the librarian knows how old we are, he or she can advise on what books would be appropriate for us. Yes. Another important detail that you will be asked to give is your contact number. This is important as this information will be very helpful in case of emergency. Then, you would most probably be asked about your gender. This is where you indicate whether you are a boy or a girl. Now, observe the following form. Let's go over the form together. What can you deduce from the first two lines? It is an application to become a member of the Regency DVD Club. We are told to use block letters. What do you understand by this? We have to use capital letters when we fill the form. But what is the importance of using capital letters? Why can't we use small letters? When people use block letters, they write more clearly and legibly. So it's easier to read. Please note that although we have to write everything in capital letters, this does not apply to your signature. You sign your name in the usual way. Next, we are asked to give first name and surname. What is the difference between first name and surname? Our first name is a name by which friends usually call us. As for surname, this is our family name. If someone is called John Smith, John would be his first name and Smith would be his surname. Be careful though. Some forms ask you to put your surname first. What information is required when you are asked about your title? This would be another way of asking our gender, isn't it? Mister is used for all men. Mrs. is used for a married woman. Miss is used for a woman who is not married. Very good. Tell me more about the contact number. As you mentioned earlier, this is a phone number where we can be reached most easily. What about DOB? DOB are the initials of each word date of birth. We have to write the date on which we were born. Some forms might ask you your age directly. First, you will have to write down how old you are. What should you do when you see the term signature? 
It's about signing our first and last name together. Indeed, your signature is unique. You are the only person in the world who signs your name in that way. Your signature is also legally binding. In this form, you are agreeing to the conditions of the form stating that the information you have given is true. Finally, let's look at the last piece of information you are required to fill in this form. Why is it important to write the date? Writing the date is important as a person would know when we joined the club. Yes, and this date helps the officials when they are calculating the amount you have to pay at the end of the month. So, dear student, to end this lesson, let's have a recap. We have seen that people are required to fill in forms in real life. We have also noted that many forms ask the same information. Name, date of birth, gender, address and contact number. Remember, forms are like a legal document where correct information is required. And so, forms are signed and dated. Goodbye. Goodbye.